Now to the rise of opioids and fentanyl. It's gotten so bad, the DEA is concerned. Yeah, they say they've seen a 260% rise in pill seizures in Virginia. Then your side's Ashley Knight is here with some disturbing details tonight, Ashley. Well, Tom, this really is a very disturbing story, and it has the potential to get worse. Experts can't tell me the exact number of pills laced with fentanyl that they found in our area specifically, but they do tell me Hampton Roads often has one of the highest concentration of these pills in all of Virginia. In 2023, the DEA, the Washington Division, we see a 260% increase in the amount of fentanyl pills in Virginia. That's 415,300 fake pills fake pills made to look like medication oxycontin percocet and xanax special agent in charge jared forge says they're being sold on the internet to people wanting a quick hit or those who can't get pain medication from their doctors but it just takes one pill to end a life we know at dea that seven out of every 10 pills that we see at dea contain a deadly amount of fentanyl it's the deadliest drug threat facing the nation right now, and it'll only cost you between five and 30 bucks. These pills are being made predominantly by two cartels, the Sinaloa and Jalisco cartels. And those cartels are obviously in Mexico getting the chemicals, precursor chemicals from China. But those two cartels are in Virginia. The threat right here in our backyard. And it's not something hidden on the dark web or done in alleyways. It's easily accessible to anyone, especially your children. We do know that the Hampton Roads area in the past been one of the areas of Virginia where we see the, the highest number of fentanyl seizures and fake pill seizures. Forge says they're conducting worldwide investigations, going after the cartels in Mexico and the chemicals coming out of China. And looking at the number of pills seized, they're making good headway, preventing over 6.1 million potentially deadly doses of fentanyl from reaching their victims. So there is no um, ability to track uh, how much fentanyl is in one pill to the next. It's, it, it varies quite a bit. It only takes two milligrams to kill somebody. Highly addictive, 50% more deadly than heroin, and promises a high profit margin for dealers. That's why victims are constantly being sought out. A customer may, may die at some point. That's okay by them. They'll get more customers. Unfortunately, his warning for parents, make sure you know who your children are talking to online. That includes the games they play online as well, that message feature, and talk with them about not taking pills given to them by their friends or other students at school. Ashley Knight, 10 on your side.